I am back having finished Heidi of all books um, because I've got a book list that was about some classic children's books and I decided to kind of look into some of them because either I've read them so long ago that I've forgotten them or I never read them at all. So the first one that I picked up was Heidi and that one I've never read at all. I remember reading like children's versions of it when I was little and knowing the movie and the general gist of everything, but um, this one is not one that I have ever actually picked up and read. So having picked it up and read it, uh, Heidi is by Joanne Speary. Uh, this was written back in the late 1800s. Uh, so this is a book about a little girl who is orphaned and she's set up to live with her live with her grandfather on the Alps and she goes up there and this one a friend of mine made the comment that this one is like interchangeable between Little Princess and Pollyanna and there is a level of that that you have an almost insufferably positive little girl um, who is sent into living with a living situation that is not ideal and she charms everybody with her absolute irrepressible spirit and that is basically the situation with Heidi I was more entertained by some of the awful adult characters in this because her aunt is just terrible her aunt abandons her like three times in different circumstances because she's like I've taken care of her for five years I really don't feel like I need to take care of her anymore. So she dumps her off in the grandfather at one point. Uh, then she like snatches her back from the grandfather at another point because she's dumping her on a family that's in Frankfurt. And that just is sort of entertaining that Speary wrote this, this adult character that was so awful. The other one who is infinitely entertaining, who's terrible, is the, I guess she's a govern housekeeper? She's not the governess. She's the housekeeper for the family that... Heidi goes to work for in Frankfurt, which Heidi has no clue what she's doing, but the aunt sees this opportunity to like dump her somewhere and get her to make money and whatever else. I, sort of the funny thing about both the housekeeper and the aunt is that they're not written as like overtly evil. They're just kind of awful adults. It's, it's not even that they're supposed to be hated. They're just kind of terrible adults in the whole thing. And... Heidi is dropped off, and, and I can't ever pronounce their names. I think it's the Sesamans. Um, it has, it's a name that has lots and lots and lots of S's in it. Uh, but she's, she's dumped off at this house with Clara, who is a, an invalid and has been told that she is not going to walk uh, at any point in time. Again, yes, yeah, Sesamon. It's Sesamon. Um, she's told that she's not going to walk and uh, Heidi is going to be her little companion for all of this. And Clara just absolutely loves Heidi, thinks she's wonderful. Um, she stays there for a little bit, but she gets so homesick that Heidi is sent back to the Alps with her grandfather so they can uh, live in pastoral bliss up on the mountain, which Speary got, even back in the day, I believe she got a little bit of flack for her idealization of the pastoral setting and, and village life in this because she has, she really did turn this into like um, just the, the epitome of, of idealized living in, in the country. She, she really was doing the most to try to make that. Um, as ideal as possible um though she doesn't really like in frankfurt she doesn't really diss frankfurt all that much it's just heidi doesn't like it so anyway um that is why heidi i, I believe it's it was very pop like there's a, there was even a theme park made after this and it's like this pastoral theme park gimmick nonsense i don't know if that's still functioning but it, it used to be that people that uh, Japanese tourists I used to read about would go to Switzerland and they were just like, it was because of Heidi. They, they had this idea of what, what it was supposed to be like in the Alps because of Heidi. And I don't know how accurate that is, but Spiri is really, really laying it on thick with how mountain living in, in, in 
the poor provinces is just the best thing ever because Clara comes out to where Heidi is and um, she ends up being able to walk by the end of it because the mountains will just heal you from whatever, apparently. You just come to the mountains and you are healed of all ills. Basically, Clara was only in a wheelchair because she just didn't have enough mountain air and wasn't trying to walk hard enough. Uh, that's the gist you get at the end, but which problematic, uh, a problematic situation. Uh, and speaking of terrible little characters, uh, Heidi's friend Peter, who is a goat herder on the mountain, he's also awful. Uh, but you're supposed to like him because he feels bad for being awful after he does every awful thing. And he does tons of awful things. Like, he he is insanely jealous anytime Heidi is paying attention to anybody else. He's the one who uh, shoves Clara's wheelchair off the mountain, which is why she doesn't have a wheelchair at the end, because she's come to visit for a couple weeks. And then he just decides he's jealous that Heidi's spending all this time with Clara, so he shoves her wheelchair off the mountain. And well, But you're supposed to be okay with him because he feels bad in the end, and he's like all scared that he's going to get in trouble for it, and this, that, and the other. Um, but yeah, I, I find him pretty insufferable too, because he's also, he, he's, he's willfully ignorant a lot of the time. He spends a lot of time like trying not to go to school and all this sort of stuff, and actively... Just actively being a thorn in everybody's side. Um, but in later books, and Heidi does have sequels. It was not written by Speary. It was written by another man. So it's basically Heidi fan fiction. He, has wrote, he wrote several other sequels. One about when Heidi was a teenager and one when Heidi was an adult. And of course, Heidi ends up marrying Peter, which I find is just absolutely horrifying in my opinion of who Peter is in all of this and his insane jealousy when Heidi is eight. So... Yeah, um, find that a, a little bit of a problem. But um, if you're just going off of Heidi the book, I like to think that she moved off and found another nice man that was not Peter, because uh, he's a horrible little troll of a kid um, in here. But it is interesting, Spearies. It's a weird mix of saccharine religious pastoral overtones that she does constantly in this. To the point that you're just like, oh, it, it's just so saccharine and uh, like all grandmama wants down in, in in the village is to someone to read her hymns again because she's gone blind and and somehow in just like an instant moment, grandfather gets religion again. It's and all because of Heidi. Um, Heidi's just she's just the best. Um, so there is an element of that that I understand why people opposed that even when it initially the book initially kind of came out and that was sort of criticized and the pastoral thing was kind of criticized uh, understandable that's the weakest kind of most annoying parts of the book but I did see a review where somebody talked about the fact that they found this book relaxing and I understand that because it just kind of rolls along and it is kind of a relaxing book it's not um it, it's not a book that you have to spend a huge amount of time really paying attention to it just kind of is a, a group of stories where this girl, she never really has it too bad. Um, and it's just her, her kind of going along through life and uh, living in the Alps and whatnot. And the most interesting parts are kind of these awful adults that she keeps said. But they're not like wicked witch adults. They're just adults who are doing selfish adulty things and are just kind of horrible people um, in kind of a general way. But yeah, so Heidi, enjoyable. Um, I don't think a kid today would be that entertained by it or interested by it. I do understand why it might have had um, quite the influence back when it was originally written because it was something a little bit different with the Alps and, and this sort of look at, and also this whole thing with like dangerously saccharine little girls was a thing in the late 1800s. I'm well aware with all the books that this could be easily confused with. Um, it's the same idea. But anyway, Heidi, not bad um, for, for a 1800s children's book. 
um, on here. So uh, I will be picking up another one from the library when I get back there again from the list. So I'll figure out which one from there I'll be going to.